Yo, welcome to JM TV GH. Today is another day, and today is a very beautiful day. And we are here once again with Osofo Kofiche Ahaji to bring you another beautiful episode. So, wherever you are watching me, just try and go to YouTube and subscribe to JM TV GH. Try to share the program so that other people will know what we wanted to do. Uh, because the other day, we asked who is a black man. After that, we talk about um, why our ancestors hide everything away from us. And today we are here to bring you another beautiful episode. So try and subscribe to share the program. So wait for me. I'm going to commercial break. I'll come back. Yeah, welcome once again to JM TV GH. As I said earlier, today is another beautiful day. Uh, I'm here with Osofo Kofiche Ahaji. Uh, how we normally do it, I will allow him to flow with whatever he know about Africans, especially the black people, so that you and me will know more about where we are coming from and what is next and what should we do as a black people before uh, we can be successful like how the other country are successful today. So let me go to Osofo Kofiche Haji, then we can start the program. Father? Yes, sir. Ndino. Mahwe. Mwake. Akalo. Akpena Mau. Akba Hamiga Gadejo. So today too, we are here yeah. uh, to learn more from you. Mm -hmm. Because uh, as we are growing, we have to learn more. Uh, sometimes when, when you give us assignment, uh, we, you forget. <laughs> we you forget. You decide to forget. <laughs> so mm -hmm. we, you have to we will learn it small, small. Mm. Mm -hmm. That one day is you, true. You know you have to pay for forgetting. That one day is true. Okay. <laughs> right. So uh, we are here to learn um, uh, uh, another one. So today uh, we want to ask, like how you told us the other day, our ancestor didn't hide anything from us. Uh, they didn't keep anything away from us because it is our own uh, uh, selfishness and how we wanted to get it fast in life that's why we are suffering so today we are here to find out as a young man what should i do to know what our ancestors live for us Apa? We are talking about the name of 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 the name you walk with your shadow. Down but when you decide not to look at your shadow and be looking elsewhere, you will say that uh, they hear certain things from you. Mm. So always remember that you and your shadow are one. Okay. That way, you can find a solution to whatever problem you have. We have a mm. situation where we are being told that some colored papers mm. are called money. Okay. And we go around chasing those colored papers. Mm -hmm. We know when our ancestors were our ancestors, mm -hmm. they used naturally made exchange systems like cowries. Yes. Today, we say no, those ones are not good. We will have to get somebody to make some colored paper, draw some things on it and give it to us and say that is money. We must use it for exchange. Whether he is cheating us or not, we don't care. Okay. That is our problem. Mm. So, so today, uh, let's say we have get to the point that all those carriers or something like that is no more there. Now we have a currency like the paper you are talking yeah, about. They call it currency. <laughs> yes. So how should we go about it before it will blend with how to know our ancestors or how to deal with our ancestors so that things that they leave for us it will be okay for all of us 
Well, when you look behind you, mm. you see the papyrus. Yes. We use the papyrus. Our ancestors used the papyrus to make various things, even up to making sandals. Okay. Then people came and told us that no, our good. ancestors were not wise enough. Mm -hmm. If our ancestors were not wise enough, and they came, they told us we should kill all the animals and use their hide to make shoes. Okay. But our ancestors were doing that one, and systematically, they don't go around killing anything. Okay. They do it methodically that, okay, this animal is sick. Mm -hmm. Let us preserve it by either giving it medication or killing it and using the hide to provide for ourselves. Okay. But today, what do we do? We kill the animal anyhow. Every animal must be killed. And you want to eat every animal. You want to eat every animal and you bring in disease to yourself. But, but they told us that uh, Jesus Who told Christ you? came to sanctify every animal. So we have to eat all. Where did you meet Jesus? <laughs> in the Bible. Oh, you met Jesus in a book? Yes. Is Jesus part of the book? That, that, that's the big question. If Jesus was not part of the book, why did you believe that when they came and told you that one? Mm. And they are the same people now telling you that you must be vegetarian. Yeah. And you believe that one. Mm -hmm. Anything they tell you, you are believing. Yes. And when they tell you, go and dump yourself into the sea and die, you will believe it. Yes. We, we had that experience in uh, Guyana. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. The Jonestown Massacre. They gave the people, the blacks, poison and asked them to drink because they were going to go to heaven. Mm. And the people drank it. Over a thousand people died. Okay. Because they want to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. The one telling you that you must go to heaven, he himself is not prepared to go to that heaven. Okay. Why should he tell you and you believe him? And he gave you the poison and you drank and you died. Mm. And you want to go to heaven. So as we have left our ancestors thing and we believe someone else thing, so we are not practicing our own, but render practicing someone's own. But that is what we are doing. You are borrowing somebody's eyes to see. You are borrowing somebody's nose to breathe. You are borrowing somebody's ears to hear. And you are borrowing somebody's brains to think. Mm. As long as you decide not to use what is yours, and borrow somebody else's. So long will you continue to be dancing in semicircle. Okay, today's program we are going to do it very shortly because of the time. Yes. So, uh, Sofo, I want you to teach us this thing because many people are sending messages uh, on the YouTube platform. Yeah. So, before you teach us this thing, I want you to explain this thing to us. Someone asks, Yeah. When I follow the ancestors' uh, things, uh, there's no consequences on it. Is that how it is? What consequences do you want? Because people are saying when you are worshipping the assisted thing, things like Voju and those things, end of the day, uh, the Voju will kill you. So that's why they are saying our ancestor thing is evil, is demonic. So they, they wanted to find out if that's true, that when they follow those things, to turn back and kill them. If uh, anything will kill you, the first thing which will kill you is the one you borrow so, from somebody. Mm. If your ancestor is to kill you, your ancestor will not have allowed you to come onto earth. Mm. There are some of our women who say that, yes, uh, my mother is a witch because some pastor sitting somewhere says, your mother is a witch. Mm -hmm. You have this, you have that. If your mother were to be a witch, she will not have carried your pregnancy for nine months and given birth to you mm -hmm. and given you her breast milk, everything to take. Okay. Today, somebody calling himself a man of God is telling you that your mother is a witch. Mm -hmm. So when your mother tells you something, don't listen. Yeah. And you are so full of that. Mm -hmm. You have no 
idea or you have not thought of the fact that if your mother were to be a witch, she would not have carried you and given birth to you, nursed you. Okay. Paid everything for you, bought cloth, everything for you. It's only because somebody says that he is a man of God, he comes to tell you your mother is a witch. Yes. Then you follow that one. Because he can see. He can see what? Tell me what he can see. <laughs> you see, he can see uh, uh, evil thing and... Who decides thing. which one is evil? Now you have a cutlass. Mm -hmm. You can take the cutlass to go and weed a place. Yeah. And plant something which will germinate for you to eat. Mm -hmm. That's cutlass. Mm -hmm. You can use the same cutlass to go and cut somebody. Mm -hmm. You have injured him mm -hmm. or you are killing him. Yeah. This is the same cutlass. Yes. Are you going to blame the cutlass or you are going to blame yourself for using the cutlass for wrong purpose? I'm going to blame myself. Okay. So if you know that you blame yourself for using the cutlass for wrong purpose, mm -hmm. then you must think twice before you do anything any other person tells you. Okay. I saw a Zambian uh, pastor sitting on somebody's head mm -hmm. and says uh, that when I flatulate, then you will get the Holy Spirit. Yes. And the idiots are sitting down there and the pastor is flatulating on them. Yeah. And they say there is the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. When did that spirit coming from somebody's rotten food he had eaten become holy? <laughs> yeah. hmm? uh, we have to ask. You have to ask. Mm. Because Africans have now made themselves such slaves, mentally enslaved people that they don't even think again. Okay. Someone comes and says that, oh, I am a man of God. Mm. Then they all follow. Yeah. I saw a supposed man of God selling some stickers mm -hmm. for protection. Yeah. And he is sitting in a vehicle with all the bodyguards with holding gun. guns. Yes. If his sticker can protect, why not protect he himself? Mm -hmm. His sticker cannot protect him, but guns will protect him. Mm -hmm. And uh, he wants you to pay for him to be protected by guns. I asked a friend the other time that uh, Pope Francis, mm -hmm. the current Pope, yeah. I told him Pope Francis was arrested because they were going to carry out some ritual. In that ritual, they will kill a baby. He said, no, that is not possible. Mm. It couldn't have happened. And so, my brother, I will show you the evidence. Then when I showed him the evidence that the, the Pope was actually handcuffed, he was going for a conference in Geneva, and they arrested him. Mm -hmm. But his bodyguards freed him and put him into his car because he is a diplomatic car, mm -hmm. and they drove him across the border into Italy. And he said, ah, but uh, why didn't they publish this? So how will they publish it for all the Catholics to realize that their Pope of Roy is not holy? Mm. They call him Holy Father. Yeah. And our people believe. Yeah. I was just asking you some few minutes ago, where is the Roman Catholic Cathedral in Africa? I don't know. You don't know. Yeah. Why? Because when you are walking, you put your head up <laughs> and you are looking to the sky yeah. without realizing the things you are passing by. If you look at where we have the Roman Catholic Cathedral at Asylum Down, you will see next, there is a mental hospital. Yes. If you go to church and you are mentally deranged, they send you to the hospital yes. to go and treat you. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? It means that they have created institutions for mental de derangement. Mm. And when you are mentally deranged, they put you there. This book lying here is called the Book of Life and Death. Oh, okay. Let me bring it so that people can see the, the, mm. the big one. Yes. Oh, but me, I'm, I'm seeing it as a Bible. Oh. A, a Bible? <laughs> yeah. What is okay. that? The Book of, of the Dead. The Dead. Mm -hmm. Wow. I uh, for come for one. You can't come for one. Oh. You see all these drawings. Mm -hmm. They are telling you how the people 
in the southern valley mm -hmm. captured their information mm. the heading here is what egyptian it's, papyri it, yes all the things they have written mm -hmm. they have shown you the papyrus yes mm? Mm -hmm. then when you come over here list of paper bulls okay. decrees issued by the pope and it was one of these decrees or a lot of them mm -hmm. which caused our people to be enslaved okay said so go and capture those people mm -hmm. they have knowledge they must never take away those people's knowledge must be taken from them mm -hmm. so the other time when we were discussing and you wanted to find out what happened to our people yeah. in the ethiopia mm -hmm. i told you the ethiopians were enslaved mm. the italians went there first captured some of them mm. poisoned their drinking water up to the universities where cows will even drink water they poisoned all oh. and they are supposed to be the children of god are they not mm -hmm. they are catholics but what have they done to rest okay and they are still doing it and our people are still following them to brutalize and oppress and extort from us that which is ours mm -hmm. look around the, one of the decrees said go and establish churches anybody who does not accept your concept of god they brutalize him kill him all right anybody that are not accept of your uh, god brutalize him uh, Yes, JMTVGH. Uh, wherever you are watching me, I'm here with Sofu Kofiche Ahaji to continue who is a black man and why did our own sisters hide things from us and what happened before we went to the slavery. So today to, we are here. So you give me one minute. Uh, let me go to commercial break. I'll be right back. Yo, welcome once again to JMTVGH. This is the program called The Journey into Ever History and Africa as a Whole. So we are here to learn more from Osofo Kofiche Ahaji so that tomorrow we will not do the mistake that our past people have done. So before we go to commercial break, Osofo Kofiche Ahaji will say something. Let me go to him so that we can continue. Uh, Sofo, yeah. uh, before we go to commercial break, you are talking about uh, how they plan to slave our people. Yeah. Uh, so continue for us. Okay. In uh, a paper bull, that is a decree by the Pope, mm -hmm. Pope Nicholas V. Mm -hmm. On the 18th of June, 1452, issued this bull titled Doom Diversus. Okay. In this bull, Pope Nicholas V authorized King Alfonso the Fifth of Portugal to reduce any Muslims, pagans, and other unbelievers to perpetual slavery. He is the Pope, mm -hmm. supposed to be the representative of God on earth, telling the Portuguese king to reduce Muslims, pagans, and other unbelievers to perpetual slavery. Okay. And these are the people carrying that black book they call the Holy Bible. And they want us to believe that they are in fact the closest people to God. Okay. Then on the 8th of uh, January 1454, Nicholas concedes to Alfonso V all conquers in Africa from Cape Nun to Guinea with authorization to build churches. Mm -hmm. The one who said enslave now says build churches. What are the churches supposed to do? Okay. The churches are expected to continue the process of enslavement. I don't know if you know about that guy called uh, the king of uh, 
Belgium, mm -hmm. King Leopold II. No. He sent missionaries to the Congo okay. and told them, you are going to the Congo. Your mission is not to teach the African the knowledge of God. Because the African already knows God. He knows that to kill is no good, to steal is no good. All these things, don't waste your time teaching him. All you have to do is to interpret the will and message of the gospel so that the African does not challenge you over the things that he has. And the, the things that he has are the things which Belgium wanted. So you have seen in some pictures that they have cut the hand of people who could not get rubber sufficient for Belgium. Okay. And Belgium is now the capital of the okay. North Atlantic okay. Treaty Organization. Okay. Because they have uh, taken our land, our resources, everything. And up till today, they are doing it. Right here in Ghana, yes. we are seeing the Chinese do their own thing. Mm. And we can't complain. Hmm? So in all these decrees mm. or paper bulls, they are ensuring that we must continue to be enslaved. And that was the basis upon which Italy even entered into Ethiopia. They didn't have any document. So what did they do? They want to claim ownership of the scriptures. And the scriptures, the original ones, can be found in some of the temples of Lalibela in Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. And with that one, if they have those things like the Greeks did with the Torah, they claim they have translated the Torah, which is now the base document of the Greek Orthodox Church. You will see this man. You see him? Okay. He is the Pope so. of the Greek Orthodox Church of Africa. Okay. The Greek city of Alexandria mm -hmm. of Africa. Okay. How can a Greek become the Pope of a church in Alexandria of Africa? Mm -hmm. Alexandria is not a city of Greece. Alexandria is in Africa. Okay. But here he is the Pope. And he came down here and we were hailing him as the Pope Pedro VII. So, so what we did as African as we, we, we accepted something that it is not our own. We were forced. Oh, okay. Because when they came, they said, oh, the God we are worshipping. It's the same God we are also worshipping. Oh. Okay, so, if, 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 if we are forced, we know that our ancestors have the power, have the energies that control things, that understand things in the world. Why did they allow themselves for these people to force them to worship something else? Oh, you see, I have told you in an earlier episode mm. that someone comes, he doesn't come violently. Okay. He says, oh, yeah, what we are doing is the same thing. Let us join and do it. Okay. Hmm? Mm. Did they force us to construct the borders? No. They came and said, oh, your property is not well protected. So let's draw some line to protect you from your brother. Because your brother is speaking a language you at the moment did not understand. You believe the other guys as, uh, have meaning well for you. So he says, oh, let us protect you. He tells you, let us protect you. Then goes to your brother and says, your brother... He wants to be protected. You must also protect yourself against him. So I give you this gun. When he's coming close to you, shoot him. But our people use gunpowder to offer prayers to the Supreme Creator. These people came and learned about the gunpowder. Instead of helping use it to create protection to the deities or invoke them, they used the gunpowder to start killing us. And when they started killing us, our people say, ah, but what is this? We taught these people that we use this for prayers. Why are they using it in killing us? By the time you realize that they were tricksters, it was too late. Okay. So all you have to do, say you want to take the land, take it. We are gone. 
Okay. Now we are gone. The knowledge we had, which you claim to have taken, you can't interpret it. Mm -hmm. Once you can't interpret it, you have to find the people who know how best to interpret it. Okay. And then they started the chase. The Muslims also came, they are chasing because they want that knowledge. If they don't have the knowledge, there is nothing they can do. Okay. So they tell you what? The Muslims will tell you the Kaaba. The Kaaba is the citadel. They said it was Abraham who hit the rock and water came out of it. Yeah. Fine. Who was Abraham? <laughs> they will not tell you. Yes. Where did they get the Kaaba from? They will not tell you. All those things they are claiming are things that we have. We have black rocks here. Yeah. Can't we invoke the energy in the black rocks? Now in the US, they are selling pebbles, crystals, and what you have here, and they tell you they are holy. Mm -hmm. You go to the Roman Catholic Church, they are selling you the rosary and all these things, yes. and tell you those are the readings from St. Peter, St. Paul. Somewhere along the line even, a foot of one of the so-called sins was cut, has been cut and has been put into some pond and they pour water on it, you yeah, go well, and that is holy water. But if it were to be your ancestors doing it, they would have told your brother who has been miseducated that that is devilish. It is the devil's work. When uh, the Notre Dame Cathedral got bent, what did we see? Skulls of people. Yeah. They, they claim they are saints. If it were to be an African to be a creating a center for skulls, they would say that this is yeah, devil. devil. Yeah. And our own people too will believe because they have been sent to certain institutions of misinformation. They have been misinformed, miseducated, and mentally enslaved. Okay, we all have been misled. So we will continue and know every each one of them who plan to, to slave our people. Uh, but today, uh, be, be, because of time, I want to ask this question. Go ahead. So that you can teach me and my viewers. Uh, I want us to practice. How can we communicate with our ancestors? As individual, maybe I don't know how uh, they, they, they talk to us, I don't know where they live, I don't know how they behave. So how should we communicate to our ancestors early in the morning in the house, evening, afternoon, or please teach us that little one before we, we can end the program. One. We will teach you that little one provided you believe that your ancestors are not far away from you. Okay. I told you that you cannot walk without your shadow. Okay. Your shadow is with you. Okay. When you are entered to ask the question, then you raise your head into the sky. You think your ancestor is up in the sky? Your ancestor is not there. Everywhere you are going, he is going with you. Okay. But when you decide not to recognize his or her presence, and you want to because somebody has come and said, our, our God who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Mm. And you are looking up into the sky. And you think that he is there. When the person is sitting beside you, they take a calabash or something and call me. Okay. The earth is the one on which you walk. Okay. You don't walk in space. You walk on earth. Yes. Call me on earth. Because the earth is the foothold I have made for you. Okay. I also walked on earth. Okay. I am still walking on earth. Okay. Whatever you want to get, you can get it on earth. Okay. But if you leave the earth and you want to look somewhere else because somebody has made some funny thing and says that, oh, this is heaven and that is hell. And you want to believe that one. You will continue believing until you collapse and die. Because there is nothing there. Okay. The thing you want and you look into the heaven, the thing is with you. Okay. So go back to yourself. I have been telling you, man, know thyself. Okay. If you know yourself, nothing will be hidden from you. 
the ancestors, they are always with us. Okay. They are ready to teach us how to walk. But if we are not prepared to listen, they sit down and watch you. So unless one is ready to communicate to our ancestors or to understand that they are with them before you, you can come. They are them. always with you. Okay. Don't look outside of yourself for your salvation. Okay. Your salvation is being handled by the one with you. Okay. So go back into yourself. Mm -hmm. Know yourself. Mm -hmm. And call upon them in your moments of need and they will respond. Mm -hmm. When you are sleeping, they are with you. Okay. Whatever you are doing, they are with you. Okay. But when you decide to look outside of yourself for your salvation, it's nobody's fault. Okay. When your shadow is with you and you say, no, my shadow is not with me. I don't want to look beside me to see my shadow, but I want to look up. You'll be looking up and the dust will fall into your eyes. Okay. All right? Yeah. Man. So so one is ready to, to, to do all those things or to do all these things. Uh, is there any special, like how you said uh, you can use Calabash, is there any special words that we must say before our ancestors can hear that, oh, my, my child is called upon me? Before you call, they have heard you. Mm. They know you. Mm. You are one of them. Okay. So when you open your mouth to say, Ago, mm. Ago, Ago, Mia Clanji, Mia Clanji, Mia, your Mau. They have already heard you. Okay. So what you want to tell them, go ahead and tell them. Okay. And give them the water or the drink or whatever. Okay. They will accept it. Okay, but is there any special way? Maybe I know my mom died, my father died, my uncle died. Is there a good way? When I'm saying the prayer, I should call upon all those people named before. Which is good way? Don't you know them? Okay. Don't they know you? Mm -hmm. You claim they are dead. Yeah. It is only that they have shed off uh, this skin you think it is the habitation of them. But they are still around. The energy is around. It's around. Them. Energy okay. never goes away. You see the branches of the coconut yes yes they are telling you the energy is still with them okay and if you decide to ignore them that is your problem nobody created that problem you you have refused to recognize what is with you and you are looking up elsewhere for your salvation which you will never find all right, which you never find Sofu Kofi Chahaji I want you to give us your last word and um, how we should go about all this thing that they are telling us we, we, we should worship and go to heaven and some people to when 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 they see the program they say oh you 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 are worshiping a devilish uh, you have lost uh, a demon ha, ha, has has yeah, taken uh, uh, over yeah taking okay. over you order you to to destroy christianity what word do you yeah. have for the viewers what, what is christianity uh, uh, they say if you should worship then you will go to heaven you worship them and go to heaven. Mm. You see, Christianity. Mm. In, the U.S. went into Vietnam. Mm. They went all over the place in the name of what? God. Yeah. And they claim that in God they trust. And they went around killing people. They are still killing. Mm. When Italy launched the war against... Uh, Libya, mm -hmm. they ensured with the U.S. support, the so-called North Atlantic Treaty Organization forces, they ensured that they killed Muammar Gaddafi. Mm -hmm. Up till now, they are trying their best to remove uh, the Syrian president. And they are telling us that we must lose our guard so that we go to some heaven. Mm -hmm. Who's heaven? If there is some heaven which is good, you remember the killing of uh, George Floyd? Yeah. The policeman knelt on his neck. Even when George Floyd was saying that, you are, stuck, you are killing me. Yes. They didn't bother. They killed him. And he is not the only one who has been killed by that chavin guy. 
they are still killing the black people. It is their agenda that the black people had all the good things which they had from the beginning. Mm -hmm. They must take it away from us. Bill Gates says, let's go and kill about three billion blacks so that we can take over their land. And you think these people like you? You believe them. When they tell you to look up, try to look down. If you don't, you will fall into a ditch. Okay. So Fela tells you, when they follow, follow, you close your eyes. You close your eyes, pin, pin, pin. You will never see anything. Mm -hmm. By the time you say hi, you are falling into a ditch. Okay. So when you have uh, leaders or rare guard leaders who are misleading us and we think that they are the best because they can wear some uh, coat and they can put some things on their head and call it wig because they are supposed to be justices of whatever you have you. Please think twice. If you don't think twice, you will miss your road. And when you miss road, you fall into a ditch. Thank you, Sofu Kufitcha Haji, for your time. Thank you for thanking me. Yeah, uh, that's Sofu Kufitcha Haji. He has told you all. Oh, I don't have nothing to tell you. He said, uh, shine your eyes. And if you don't take time, you fall into dig before you realize that, oh, I did a mistake. So my friend, try your best. Open your ears, open your eyes, and open your mind. Listen to what the others are saying. Follow the route and you find rest for your soul. So wherever you watch this program from, just try and subscribe to JMTVGH and share the program. Your comment is welcome to JMTVGH. So let me use this opportunity to thank my DOP, uh, Asalin GH. Asalin GH. You can find him all the social media platform. And also my executive producer, Nana Joa, uh, God bless you. May our ancestors bless you to continue to bless you and give you whatever you need in this life. Uh, my name is JM. Uh, see you uh, in the next episode. Bye-bye.